I'm going to show you how to create a new file for the BibleWise, and in this case an article for the BibleWise site, how to copy that up to the server, and how to add it to the database, and then show it either in the review site or, you, or the live site, or both. In this case, we'll create it, we'll copy it up, we'll put it in the review site, and then the live site. Let me show you what I'm talking about with the two sites. So if I go to BibleWise.com, this is the live site that the public sees. Because we used to create new content every month, and many times the authors wanted a chance to review the content and have multiple people review it, we created a subdomain, which is called Review. So I'm going to go to Review.BibleWise.com. And this is a site that you can get to only by putting in this URL. So it's not available to the public, but they have similar sections. So we're going to add an article to this everyday living article section. This is on the live site. If I go to the review site, here's everyday living and articles, there we go. So they're showing at this point, the same list, but what would happen in our process, and it's up to you, um, how you'd like to do it, but what we would do is post everything in the review site. Once it was finalized, we would say go ahead and move that over to the live site. So I'll show you that for the demo. The first thing we need to do is create a new article. So I'm going to go into Dreamweaver. Here's my living folder and articles. I'm going to take any file. Oh, that one has a gun. I didn't really like that one. Let's pick another one. The golden rule. Always a good message. So I'm just going to save a copy of this file. That's the easiest way to make a new one and have everything show up correctly. So I do save as and I'll call it a video test PHP. All of the files are PHP files. Click save. I'm going to close the original so we don't hurt that one. I'm going to change my title to a video test file. But we'll call it article, video test article. We'll change the author, Let's say that it's Eric Myers. And I'm not going to get into changing the pictures and everything, but let's change a little text. This is a test article for the video. Okay, I'm going to save that. Now I need to copy this file up to the server. So disconnect. To connect to the server, you click this button and you'll see it start to make the connection, but when it's done, we actually don't see the files that are on the server by default. On the right here, if you click expand to show local and remote sites, now on the left hand side you can see the server and on the right hand side you can see the files on my hard drive. So I'm going to, uh, right here in www are all the files and folders for BibleWise. Notice here is a folder called Review, and it has the same structure. So anything that you want to appear in the Review site goes in the Review folder. And then when you want it to appear on the Live site, we'll have to copy it into the Living folder for the Live site. But for now, we'll go to Review, Living, articles and grab the file called a video test and just drag it over. This message is saying should dependent files be copied and dependent files would be like graphics for the menu or for the header and those are already on the server so I'm going to say no you don't need to copy the dependent files. Great. Okay so I have the file up on the server but if I go back to my review site and I refresh, I don't see my new article. And that's because I haven't added it to the database. So the next step is to go to Hostway, which are, is our web hosting provider, hostway.com, take my caps lock off, press enter, and in the top right here we can log in. So we'll click on login, and we want to use the Hostway site control panel. So I'm going to click on that. The username is sbrfadmin, and the password is in a Word file that I gave to Eric, but let me copy it out of my little notepad here. 
and click login. Now it's a few steps before we get to the database. So first we're going to click on website. Then it's an SQL database that we are editing. So we're going to click on my SQL. Then edit database. And then administer the database. On the left, we choose BibleWise. And now you can see it's not, it's not super pretty, but this is the database. And what we're doing, you can click around to these different areas, but what we're adding is an item. So I'm going to click on item and then insert. So it's saying I want to insert a new item into the database. The first field is the ID and the database will assign that. So you're going to fill in the rest of the information and based on the information and what's already in there, the database will give this item a new ID. So the ID field at the top, you always leave blank. To find out the section ID, I'm going to open up the Word file that I sent to Eric. And here is a list. So we're in the Everyday Living Articles, and that is section ID 6. So I'm going to go back to the database, and I'm going to say section ID 6. Now I need to give it a title and a description, and that's right here. So this is the title, and right below it is the description. So that's what I'm typing. What title do I want and what description? So I'm going to go in and I'm going to say this uh, title will be video test for instruction. And then this is my description. Of the new article. Okay, now each one in the list has an image next to it on the left, and that's what this is asking for. It's saying, what image do you want me to display next to, to the left of the title and the description? I have a system where I created two versions of the same image. One I called LG for large, the other SM for small. Let me show you that. You can, of course, ignore this and do it your own way. Of, but here's what I did. So in images, if I go in images, living and articles, you'll see a Christmas roast LG and a Christmas roast SM, a golden LG, a golden SM. So I always name them the same thing except for the LG and the SM. And let me open up my file. In the article, they always have the large version. So I'm going to click on the picture. And I'm just going to, down here in the lower left, I'm going to highlight that image path. Control C to copy. I'll close that because I don't need it. And I'll go back in here and I just paste it. So it goes, okay, it's in images, living, articles, a golden. But instead of using the large version, I'm going to delete that and say SM. I want to use the small version. The next thing I need to do is tell it where the article resides. If I go back to Dreamweaver, I go, okay, that's in living and then articles. And I'm just going to copy the name of the file. That's usually a little easier for me. So I type a forward slash living forward slash articles and forward slash and then paste in the name of my file. Now I need to tell it what date I'm entering it. I just click on the calendar choose the eighth. Uh, print is either on or off. We have a lot of printable materials in the kids corner, but usually for the adult articles, we did not offer a print version. So I'm going to put a zero for no. It's off or no. Preview is saying, do you want it to show up in the review site? And by default, I do. So I'm going to leave that at one and choose go. Now the database has assigned an ID number, and that's right up here in the left. And what I tend to do is just write that down on a piece of paper. So I'm going to write down 4345. That is my new article's ID. Now I need to put that article into topics. Over here on the right are different topics. So let's say somebody is struggling with something to do with a relationship. They can click on relationships and see all the articles that are about relationships. Or maybe they want to see all the articles on identity. 
So it's just, an, and when we're putting in that topic ID, this is what we're putting in. Which category would we like to live in? And always you can go to all articles and see every article that we have. But to find out what the categories are, I'm going to go back to the Word file, and if I scroll down, these are the Kids Corner numbers, but I want Everyday Living and Articles, and here are all the categories and the numbers. So let's say I want to put this one in Guidance, which would be 491. I go back here, and to put it in a topic, to put the item in a specific topic, you go to Item Topic. Just like before, we're going to click Insert. So we're putting in new information. We will leave the ID field blank because the database will do that. Our item ID was 4345. What? I forgot what my number was. The guidance was 491. So for topic ID, we're going to put 491 and click Go. Now if I would like to add it to another category, let's say relationships is 498. I can go back to insert put in my ID for my item, 4345, and I did it again, I forgot my number, relationships is 498, and I click go. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the review site, and there it is. There's my video test for instruction, that's my title, there's my description. If I click on it, it opens up the article, and it tells me that it is in the categories of guidance and relationships. And of course, it shows up in all articles. If I go to the live site and I refresh the browser, it does not appear. And that's because we said preview equals one. So we're saying only at this point show it in the preview or review site. If we go back into the database, we can change that to where we say, Preview is zero, show it in the live site. But before we do that, we need to make sure we copy the file up. So I'm going to go back and connect up. We copied it into the review living folder, but we never copied the new article into the live site. So I'm going to close the review folder. I'm going to go to living and articles. And since I'm no longer in the review site, this is where I put files for the live site. So I'm going to grab a video, whoops, video test, just press and drag it over. No, I don't need to include any of the extra graphics that are already up there. Okay. Now, that we still have to tell the database, if I refresh, even though I copied it up, it does not show in the live site because I haven't told the database to show it. So I'm going to go back to my database, under my items, click on item, and I can search for it. And I can search a couple ways. So I click on search. I could put the ID, which was 4345, and search. I could say go. If I've added a lot of new things, I can just search on preview, where preview is one. And that would bring up everything that was previous, so it would have a long list here. Since I only added one, there is only one. To edit this, this is what I want to change right here where it says preview equals one, I want to change that to a zero. And to edit, I just click on the pencil, brings up the screen I had before. For preview, I'm going to type zero and click go. Now when I refresh on the BibleWise site, the live site, there's my article, and it's still in the same categories. It will also appear still on the review site. By default, they will show on review because we always wanted the files to show on the review site so people had a chance to look at them. But you have to say if you want it to show on the live site. By changing, let me show you that one more time. This time I'll search for it by the ID number. Just show you a different way to get there. But again, it's this number right here. One is saying only on the review site. Zero says put it on the live site, and it will also leave it on the review site. So if you don't want to use the review site, if you just want to post things 
to the live site, you could just always say zero. There we go. So you know how to create a new file by doing save as, how to copy it up to the server using Dreamweaver. And again, if we want it on the review site, we copy it into the review folder. If you want it on the live site, copy it into the live folder and then add those to the database, which you get to by going to Postway. Great. Well, BibleWise has been a huge blessing to me and to our family, and I am certain that it will be a huge blessing to you and continue to bless all of the visitors that come to it. Thanks very much.